Hello guys, it's Jackson here. Welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be doing another script tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a variable. And so what a variable is, is a way to store a number or some other type of data. Variables can track all kinds of things. So you could have a variable for the amount of times you hoe some grass or maybe the amount of times you just drop some oak planks. So there are two different types of variables. So there are normal variables and then there are local variables. Normal variables stay when the server restarts. They're always there and there can only be one of them because you can't have two variables of the same name because that wouldn't make any sense. But local variables on the other hand, they're only used temporarily under like a specific command or a specific action. And I'll show you how to do both of them and I'll be starting with normal variables. So I'm going to be using Sublime Text for my tutorial today. You can choose whatever text editor you want. You can use the Mina editor. I don't really care. Okay, so we're going to create a variable first. So we're going to go up here and we're just going to type slash, not slash. We're going to type variables and then a colon. And then we're going to hit enter and then tab. Okay, so next we're going to create our first variable. And so this variable is going to be called items dropped. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make it track how many items have been dropped on the server. And so this variable will be for every player. Every player will have the same variable number for this one. And then we're going to hit enter again because we're going to do two types of normal variables. This next variable, we're going to be using percent player percent, which is like a variable within a variable almost. Like the percent player percent is the player variable. And it, it sounds a little bit confusing, but basically what this does it, it, all that really matters is that this variable will be different for each player and then we're going to set that equal to zero at the start too. So now we have our two variables set up and then we can make it so the variables actually do something. So we're going to hit enter a couple times real quick and then we're down here we're going to go back to the, the left. And so we're going to do on drop which is just the drop event when the player drops an item this will run. Then we're going to hit tab and then we're just going to do add one to and then the variable items dropped and this will just add one to the variable every time a player drops an item and so there's multiple different ways you can affect a variable so we could put like remove one from and then items dropped I can copy and paste it real quick so we can type it quicker you could do remove one you could do multiply items dropped by two you could do divide items dropped by two you, you could do pretty much anything with this uh, but obviously we just want the add one. And then you can also do set. So if we did set to zero, it would set it back to zero. But uh, I mean, yeah, we don't want that. We just want it to add one. And so we're going to hit enter again and then go back to the left. We're going to now do the tilde and that's going to activate every time a player right clicks grass of a hoe because that's how you till, you know, soil on right click on grass player is holding hoe and then add one to and then our variable this one has the percent player percent dot tilde and so that'll add one to that variable and that variable is different for every single player who does it so our variables technically exist right now and they do get added up but they don't really do anything right now i mean they're just kind of there in the background so we're just going to create a command we're going to do command slash stats it's going to be a simple command that just messages the player the variables. And if you don't know how to do commands, I made another tutorial for that. It'll be in, the playlist will be in the description. And also on the little sidebar is like a little card. Okay, so trigger and then just an, a message trigger. Message at seven. Let's we'll do items dropped colon. And then we're going to put our variable right here. And so here's another thing about variables. This is one reason why we're doing uh, a message command you're going to want to put percent outside of the variables when it's in quotation marks every other time you don't need the percents but when it's in quotation marks you have to put a percent on the outside because if you don't per put a percent it'll just type this in chat and we don't want that to be typed in chat we want the actual number to be typed in chat and then here's another small detail that you might not know if you want to like let's say we wanted to do um percent items dropped so if we put a percent it would think that we're trying to add in a variable but if you put two percents back to back like this it'll actually put a, a percent in like the text 
So if you're trying to message someone and you want to put a percent in the message, you actually have to put two percents, which is just a fun little tidbit. And so we have that one and then message. Oh wait, I, for <laughs> I forgot one important detail, two player. And then message and seven. And then what should we call this one? Blocks tilled, that sounds about right. And then, you know, you want percents on the outside and then we're gonna copy and paste this variable down here to here. And then another percent. This one looks a little crazy because we already have percents on the inside. Uh, but yeah, that, that's all you have to do. And now in the game, when someone does slash stats, it'll tell them the stats. So you're going to want to paste your script into Minehut. So we already got that here. And then we're going to scroll down, click save. And now we're going to head on to Minecraft. So we're in Minecraft here. and We can uh, reload our script real quick. Script, reload, variables. And see, it's, it's reloaded. And if you do slash stats, it tells you items drop zero, blocks tell zero. And they're both zero because at the top we put variables equals, like the variables and then the variable name equals zero. And if we put like two there, it would start out as two, but obviously we wanted to start out as one. So first thing first, we're gonna, oh, actually I'll, I'll do this one first and then I'll have to get another player online. Okay, so we're gonna tell the soil stats, blocks tilled one. If we just, you know, right click around right click the stuff that doesn't matter click stats still one till we can do a bunch of them and it, it keeps going up each time and if we got another account on uh, the blocks tilled would equal zero for them until they till soil themselves okay so we got another person here and so basically so if we look at our stats obviously it's zero and so if he drops an item it'll actually you know look if we go to our stats it changes by one and then if i also drop one uh, the server's a little laggy uh, it'll it'll change to two basically is what I'm saying. Yep. There we go change to two So now that you know how to make normal variables I will now show you how to make local variables and so again local variables are a variable that only works under one event And I'll show you what that means. Okay, so first things first We're going to do a, a simple little event on step on gold block And so that means when you walk on a gold block this activates and so we're gonna do set and then we're gonna do a variable here and so for a local variable, you want to put an underscore before it. So it would be underscore player to player. And so this variable in this little thing would be kind of pointless. But if you're doing a more complicated thing, then this variable could be helpful. Uh, but obviously we don't really need that. But we're just, you know, this is just for testing purposes, you know, teaching you guys how to use it. So just push the player up. Simple enough, right? And we're going to create another one over here on step on diamond block and then set underscore player to player. And so both of these will work because they're local variables that only work under the event. So if you add that underscore there, you can actually name variables the same thing. So this player right here and this player will not conflict with each other, which I mean, obviously is important and then push and then we can do player. And let's just do left. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna put this in Minehut, reload my script, and then see you guys in Minecraft. So I reloaded my script, and so now when we walk on a gold block, it should just push us up. Yep, simple enough. And this one should just push us to the left. Yep, <laughs> just kind of a little nudge. Kind of, it's like I'm trying to walk on the block, and it just keeps hitting me off. Oh, that that was kind of weird. Okay, well, yep, as you can see, it works just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this script tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to check out other script tutorials, you can check out the cards on the right of the screen. Or you can check in the description where I have the playlist. Or just go to my channel. I upload them, you know, maybe once a week or every other week currently. I'm going to be trying to make more script tutorials. And if you have any ideas of script tutorials that you want me to make, you can always leave a comment below and tell me what you want me to teach you. And so... Again, I'm Jackson, subscribe to the channel, check out my Twitter and Discord if you have questions, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.